my god! Okay, cool. So I was gonna do a top five worst designer brands video, but then I come to the conclusion there ain't really that many like brands that are really that terrible. Like majority of them are just boring. But there is one brand that is truly probably the worst brand of all time. If I was to do a top five worst brands of all time, this brand would probably take all of the spots. And the brand that I'm talking about is none other than Versace. Like to be fair, I give credit where credit is due. Like Versace isn't really a boring brand. But that don't necessarily mean it's like a good brand either. So before we start this video, please leave a like, a comment and also subscribe. Uh, if you do like these type of videos, I've got a whole catalogue of these videos on my channel. Be sure to check them out after. And without further ado, let's get into this. So before I roast the shit out of Versace, um, I'm going to praise it a little bit and tell you what um, I like about the brand. So firstly, I like the hotel. Like I think that's such a cool concept, like Versace having their, their own hotel. Like correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think other brands have done like anything like this. Like imagine like a Burberry swimming pool or even like a Gucci gym or something like, like I don't know. Like I just think that's just very cool. Like just a bit different and you know, just very unique. Like off the top of my head, I can't think of any brand that has like done something similar to that. So yeah, um, I do respect it. And probably the thing I like most about Versace is probably the dressing robes. And I can't even lie, like a dressing gown is probably the best thing like a designer brand has like adopted. Like I'd definitely say it's up there with like a designer bag, a designer belt or like designer sliders. Because if you think about it, it goes so well with like their target audience. Like I'd say rich people, probably not all rich people, I just want to put that out there. But like rich people like comfy clothes and like they're like lazing about. Like obviously I know they work hard because how have they got their money? Like yeah, I'd say a designer robe is like something that is like suitable for that target audience. And to be fair, like I'm surprised more brands haven't like done their own sort of like dressing gown. I know Ralph Lauren do do uh, dressing gowns gowns as well but um like i want to see like a louis vuitton dressing gown or like a gucci dressing gown like i think that'd be so gassed because i'm not being funny yeah but like when gucci released their sliders literally everyone was wearing gucci sliders and then like other brands started adopting it like i feel like other brands could sort of take a leaf out of versace's book but anyway that was enough praising for today let's get into the nitty and gritty why versace is such a shit brand and i can't lie like it just mainly comes down to like the designs of the pieces like, I think it's just so loud, just tacky, and just it's just annoying to look at. I'm sorry, yeah, but why are you putting, like, gold and, like, um, chains, like, printed on the actual clothes? Like, obviously, it's not actual gold. It's just printed on there. Like, I just think that's just bare tacky. I scunt! I scunt! It's sort of like when you see people have, like, money on their clothes. Like, you know that person don't have money. And also, it's like when guys wear, like, half-naked women on their clothes. Like, you know for a fact that guy gets no bitches. So, yeah, like, whenever I see someone wearing Versace, I know for a fact that that guy's got no sense of fashion. And, yeah, it's like I said, like, it's just so loud, just so in your face. Like, just relax, bruv. Just relax. And, like, I can't even lie to you. Like, some of the quality of the clothing that I've seen is actually disgusting. And, like, yeah, it just feels bare cheap and not, like, to, like, a designer brand sort of standard. And I know I said this before, yeah, but it, it is just so in your face face like i know like other brands like they are in your face but it's not the way that versace is like for example like fendi like that is so in your face obviously the fendi all over print in your face but it is like aesthetically pleasing like with versace you've got medusa in the center and then you've got like chains all around it and then you've got like the bright gold of it like bruv like what i scunt i scunt like, whenever I see someone wearing Versace, like, I'm just like, bruv, you're trying way too hard. And, like, also, it just looks like something you'd get out of, like, a market in town or something. Like, you know, in the town centre when, like, you're walking down, like, the street and they've got their all markets up. It looks like something you'd buy out of there. It looks like it's a knockoff of itself. Like, how does that even work? It looks like the design team, like, approached Mr. T and was like, yo, like, we're struggling out here. Like, can you come and, like, design our clothes? And, uh, yeah, it's just all over the place. Like I said, like, it's just a crazy, crazy shit show but uh yeah i can't even lie to you i am probably gonna leave it there because like i'm getting a headache just talking about the brand like but uh yeah just to summarize things up like in my opinion in my opinion versace is just a brand that is just very loud like versace is just overly slash unnecessarily loud of a brand and it isn't worth like the money in my opinion like obviously i know designer brands are overly expensive anyway but yeah it's just not worth the money and in my personal opinion i feel like they should just take the brand in a new direction and just and just see where they go but uh yeah that's going to be it for today's video i hope you did enjoy and i'm out